monster. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. Hey guys, this is the monster right there. Dude, touch him, but he, okay, close he close couldn't. Close. He guys, I can see. Show me. Show me. Where is it? Not over there. He's over here. He went. He So here's how I got it so far. There's two bolts that hook up the fog lights to this um, this shield right here, and the ones I used for these two were these skinny ones. I still have I still have no idea what these two do. These two. Yeah. Go get a plato. Open it and then put it inside the plato, so he can eat it. Oh, never mind. Just put it in the ground. My monster. See? Just like that. There you go. So here's how I got it so far. I put two bolts right here that hold the fog light to this shroud right here. And the ones I used were these ones. These skinny ones. Now for the back of the fog lights, it looks like this. It looks like this. Look at this. There are two bolts right here on the on the left side, and another one right here on top. This is what hooks up the fog light onto the bumper. The ones I used for those ones were these small thick bolts. Here, let me focus. Hope you guys can see the difference. These ones were these ones were hook up the fog lights to the bumper, and this will hooks up the fog lights to that shield shroud. Ah, oh, you. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. This whole entire OEM bumper is actually covered right here. So what you're supposed to do is actually cut it off and leave blue? this, this, no, 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 and this. Green, Everything blue? is supposed to be cut off so that this will, you know, because this is where the fog light goes to. Just like this side. This side is already complete. I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this side. This is where we're at right now so far. I've already removed everything I've had from my original OEM bumper. Such as the license plate and my lip. And I put it onto there. As you can see, my lip is right there. The fog lights are already hooked up and it's uh, hooked up. They're not installed yet. The wiring has not been done yet. I'm leaving my camera to charge for a bit. And then I'll go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see, everything is already set up and done. I just have to put my two straps right there for the bumper holders. To put the, the bolts on top of the bumper right there as well. And the wiring, of course, then I'll be done. But uh, this is how it is so far. Progress and everything's pretty sturdy too. Nothing is jiggling, moving up and down. I know, I know, it looks weird like that. I know. I'm just leaving it like this for now because I want to see how it would look. Very good, if you ask me. I'm actually getting ready to lower the car a bit more. I don't want that gap right there. I want the fender to tire look. But yeah, here's where we are so far. I'm just going to give it a good cleanup once I'm done and it should look a lot better. As you can see, look. See? It's sturdy. I mean, well, other than that, this is sturdy. Max! Max. Alright, now, so there, there will be some wiring, but don't let all the wiring intimidate you. It's really not all that complicated. Um, starting with this one over here. This wire. It's a complete set with all of this. Literally all of this right here. I'm gonna start from one end to the other just to give you an idea, and then I'll show you where to hook it up. This is for one of the fog lights. I believe it's for the furthest, the one on the right side, passenger side. This one is for uh, the zong relay, the fuse that goes with it. This red wire is what's gonna have to get hooked up to somewhere where there's always a positive current running through it. I usually, I'll show you where I put it. You, as long as you have a positive current, you'll be fine. Like right here at the box. As long as you have positive current, you'll be fine. This one is for the driver's side fog light. This one is for a negative ground that you're gonna have to find somewhere, anywhere really, as long as it's a, stop. As long as it's ground, and then, and then this, we'll get to it eventually. And I'll save this one for last. But for now, let me show you where I would hook this up. And then uh, after that, uh, you can find your own way for there. So let's start with this one. It's the easiest one.
Okay, so like I said, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the this uh, relay right over here. I don't remember if there was anything here to begin with because I've had the card set up like this for quite a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. This is one of this is one of the bolts that came with the uh, with the fog lights. Fortunately for me, it also happens to fit right here also. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there, and it's a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And and boom, that's it, that's done. Now, for the red wire, this one that follows with it, I'm just gonna carefully just try to work it through here. I'm gonna get more zip ties because I know I'm gonna need them. Just carefully walk it through here and then bring it over here. Bring it on over here to where the to the battery and I'll show you where exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead have my red wire and actually put it right here I'm gonna take off this bolt and just put it in through here the reason I'm doing that is because this wire is already hooked up to the to this uh, to the positive battery terminal so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off like so oh, guess I need my gun Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in through here. And I'm gonna twist it like this. Cause I don't wanna put it in like this. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, just as long as it goes in there. And I'm gonna grab my gun again. Now it's pretty tight. So here's where we're at so far right now. That's where the red wire is. It's going on through here, it's going on through here. And then it hooks up right here to this relay. And now all that's left are the wires for the four lights. This one is all of these. Now this you can set it up in any way you want. The way I do it, I'm just gonna, obviously you have to pull it down through here. Just try to get creative with it as long as it doesn't get exposed to the fan or get too close to the hot, uh, the hotness of it. I don't have an AC or power string, so I'll have more than enough space to get things going. But I mean, if you do have a lot of stuff right here, then you're probably gonna have to get creative with it. I'll show you how I do it. You can go ahead and copy it. That's up to you. And let me just go ahead and try to do it my way, and then after that, I'll get back. Alright, so once again, from the beginning to where I'm at, right here is the red cable that hooks up into the positive battery terminal wire that's hooked up to the battery right here. And then it follows in and through here. Then this is where the, the relay is located. Then right at the bottom of the relay is the fuse. And after that, you follow the rest of the wire, and you go down through here, and this is where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna leave it like this. I have more uh, more zip ties that I'm gonna hook up right there, right here to where the bumpers, to right here where the frame is at. And then this is your uh, passenger side fog light insert, as you can see right here. Look at the insertation, insertation insert. It's the same one right here. And then as you follow the rest of the wire, it goes in through here. And then look, this is where your other driver side fog light is. Like I said, I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna get some more zip ties and just, just drop it on right here. Cause I don't want it to be you know, falling down. I'm probably gonna put it right here though, cause I don't want it to be in front of the radiator. So yeah. And then after that, let's continue following it more and more. There is a ground wire right here, and I put it right here. I don't think it's gonna work, cause there was some pain right there. 
So if it doesn't work, I'm going to get a metal brush and just scrape it off and so it can touch the ground. And as you continue to go, and go, and go, you can see your red wire. I'll show you from the inside because I already put it inside. Alright, so that's it. Alright, now as we come inside the car, there's this wire that's with this green tip. It's got, I'm pretty sure your wire is going to be a little different, but for the most part I've seen that this green uh, connector is pretty much the same. As you follow it, you get left with these wires. The red one, the ground, and then this yellow one that nobody really seems to know where it goes, but I'm going to show you where it goes. Because I know where it goes. So with that being said, first thing that you might want to start doing, here look, I'm going to show you something real quick. Is grab a flathead. And take that one off. I mean, I guess you could put it anywhere really. Here, where the cruise controls at, but I mean, I don't even have cruise controls, so I guess it wouldn't really matter for me. But if you did, I guess your best option would be here. If I remember correctly, this one was blank. So that's why I took this one off. This one is not the one that came in right now. The one that came in was this one. Because I, I, I'm telling you, I, I put it all over the fog lights before. But you take that off. Just by grabbing your flathead. And slowly prying it out. Just like that. Yep, there you go. That's how you take it out. Yep. There you go, see? And that's where your green connector goes connected into. Now, yours should come looking like this. So you'd have to take it off first from here. Then once you take it off from here, you can go ahead and put it on. I guess for me it wouldn't really matter which one I put on, either this one, or the one I just bought right now, which is this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on since it's a new one. I'm pretty sure this is upside down. No, it's correct. Because it's the fog lights pointing down. So yeah, you might want to go ahead and start doing that. But what I'm actually going to do first. No, yeah, I got to do that. I got to feed this green wire from the bottom right here under my dash. And then slowly find its way so it can come out through here. That's all I'll be able to connect it to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Then I'm going to show you where these three connectors connect to. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I guess I could show you how to do it, but you have to get creative and find its route, its own route through there. I'm going to do it and I'll show you how I did it. Hopefully, you know, you can go ahead and copy it and if it works for me, it should work for you. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So as you guys can see, I already took it out and I already managed to pass my wire through it. I did remember that I never had a cover right here to begin with because I removed, well, removed it a while back. So see? This is where my wire is at right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually bring you down inside here with me. And then this red connector actually is the other connect. It passes through inside there. Oh, so I'm gonna give up. Try here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that. And then for the blue wire, all you really gotta do is find the ground. I don't think it's going to come out blue, but if it does, then just know that this is ground. So just find anywhere for you to ground it onto. Doesn't really matter where, just ground it onto yeah, somewhere. Hold on, buddy, hold on. And then the yellow one, which is right here. Hold on, let me focus it. Goes right here. As you can see. Right inside here, right inside these ports. Look like some like Ethernet ports of some sort. Oh no, my camera's capturing it. Oh yeah, well, these ports right here. Yeah, hope you can see them. Any of these will do. One's right here on top. Not these ones for the fuses, the ones right here on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook them up and then I'll bring you right back once I'm done. Right. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. Right, let's go outside. Let's see how it looks. Fog lights. Hurry up. Press it again. Press it. Press it again. All right, let me show them all here. Press it. Press it again. 
Wow, you turned on all the lights. Turn on all of them. Turn everybody on. Alright, that's just be enough. So I really wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was pretty weird. Let me just find out where to put the phone. If you notice, they do turn on and off. And that's cool, no, that's what I want. But here, let me take this off. Now, Here's the one that they sent me in the in the bag. Here's the one that they sent me in the, in the with the order. As you can see, it's always off. I mean, it's always on. My fog lights never, ever turn off. I don't know what's up with that. I'm still confused. But if I take it off, see, now they turn off. It's weird. This one is the one they sent me. And then this one is the one that I've always had on the car because I've already put fog lights on before. And with this one it just works fine, which is weird. Don't know why it doesn't. Let me just put it on. There we go. It's on. Alright. So you guys can see it's on. That's me pressing it. You can almost hear it from the outside. And you can actually see it. Well, <clears throat> hopefully you guys don't run into the issue. I was kind of hoping it wasn't something grave and major, which it isn't. It's nothing crazy. I thought I maybe put like a bad ground. I don't know. I don't know. But at least it's nothing too hard. So I guess that's cool. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. As you guys can see, it's not hard at all. None of the electrical wiring is complicated at all. It's all very easy. Alright, people. There you go. I did it. Turns on and off. Everything is hooked up properly. Nothing is falling down. Everything is very straightforward. So, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys learned a thing or two and uh, feel more than confident about going to the job, uh, go uh, like, comment, subscribe. It really helped me out. As you guys can see. Oh. As you guys can see, everything is working the way it should be. And yeah. It's looking a hell of a lot better.